So this is Mario once again, and I have removed the rim by uh, a little bit of a brute uh, force and uh, just basically cutting the, the rim. There's a rim right there. Uh, so I had to cut it in half, cut the top half first, and then I tried pulling it from the from the bottom with a, with a three-jolt puller that I showed in my other video. I, I packaged that already. I don't need that anymore. So. <clears throat> And that did not, did not even botch this, you know, so it's been very, very tight here. We can see the, we can see the surface of this uh, shaft, this darker area here. This is where it really grabbed onto the, the wheel. There's no way that I was going to take that out. So I had to cut it. Now I'm faced with another challenge, which is uh, removing this. Now I was able to, um, I was able to knock this uh, ring a little bit further by tapping it here carefully so that I don't ruin the surface of my shaft. My shaft is fine. I want to keep the shaft. It's a solid, solid shaft. It's a great shaft. I really like the way that this was made, manufactured. It's got the clip for the ring, the C clip right here, which prevents the wheel from going in. On top of that, these have uh, spacers here, plastic spacers, ABS spacers. I can always make one, another one. I, I had to destroy that one to get a little more access, remove the, the clip which I thought was preventing the wheel from <clears throat> from giving in a, a, a little bit uh, that way. So I tried to force it inward, outward, uh, outward, and none of those things were working, so I had to cut it. But now I have to do the same thing. Not cut it, hopefully, <laughs> but I have to do the same thing here. So I've been dousing this again with a, um, with some, um, some uh, uh, penetrating oil <clears throat> and uh, I was able to get this a little bit further in, so I'm hoping that I can knock this from the side here somehow. It's very difficult to knock this without having a, a clear a space here. This is also in the way and it's kind of a little bit tight here. Um, I may have pushed this uh, a little bit further by using my, using this sprocket as my, my bang um, tool. So this is where I'm at. It's a lot, it's pretty nasty work. It's a lot of dirty work, and you really got to be willing to, uh, you got to be willing to put a lot of muscle in and, and, and get uh, get dirty in the process. But you know, I'm kind of halfway there, so I'm going to try to keep working on this little by little, and hopefully, I can just remove the whole shaft. Uh, I may not even need to remove that we, uh, the um, the wheel from the shaft. I hope I, I don't have to do that. Maybe just remove the tire paint the uh, or clean it really well and paint the uh, paint the, that wheel um, the rim I'm gonna have to get another one for that wheel so that I can move it here so but uh, I'm uh, yeah I'm looking forward to getting this out and, and, uh, and, and now sandblasting this I do have a sandblaster which is that uh, little tank there and it's, uh, it's been sitting there there for years. I have not used that. Uh, I used it one time, long time ago, and I'm gonna have to uh, uh, reuse it. Uh, hopefully that is okay, and I can reuse it here. If not, I'm just gonna pressure wash this and maybe just sand sand it with a with a uh, drill and uh, just a, a wire brush. So, but this is the this is the killer here, the shaft. Anyway, not not much in terms of progress here, but I just want to you know keep this as uh, keep this on track. And for the record, you know just uh, the progress that I'm making with these cars here. Mario, once again, stay tuned for more.